Audacity 3.6 has completely redesigned two effects, the compressor and limiter. They not only have a new look but also have a new working mechanism. It has also changed the way we will be using Audacity. The compressor effect has become similar to the compressor of other software. But the new limiter has become a bit confusing. If you check the manual of the new limiter, the only thing you can understand is that it is more like the compressor now. But how it is working under the hood is a bit obscure now. However, I have devised a way to use the limiter to our benefit. Until the manual has a clear direction, you can use the limiter the way I explain. The purpose of a limiter in a voice recording is to make the audio a bit louder. Ideally, you should use the limiter at the end of a processing chain. The ideal processing chain should be like this. However, you may feel the overall loudness of the audio is not quite up to the mark. In those cases, you should apply a limiter and then normalize. I will explain in a bit what the purpose of the normalize after the limiter is. I will use the recording on the screen to show the limiter demo. Let's assume I have done the standard processing on this audio. By standard processing, I mean the effect sequence you see on the screen. After applying the sequence, the audio should pass all three checks in the ACX. I will check it using the ACX check tool. You can see that the RMS failed for this audio, but the peak and noise floor passed. This audio is an ideal use case for the limiter effect. Because the RMS level has not passed after the standard processing. I show you again what the standard processing means. If you need to increase the RMS level after standard processing, the limiter can be useful. For this audio, the RMS has failed to pass the ACX check. Sometimes the RMS can pass, but if you are still looking to increase the RMS level, then you should apply a limiter. An increase in RMS means an increase in overall loudness in the audio. I assume you already know the difference between the peak loudness and overall loudness. If you are confused between peak and average loudness, please check the previous lectures. I will first show the limiter effect from the real-time effects. It will be easier to understand the configuration from the real-time effects. Later I will show you from the effect menu. There is a reason why I opened the limiter from the real-time effects. You can see an awaiting playback section at the bottom of the limiter configuration. If I play the audio, it will show how the current configuration is working on the audio. Real-time effects also help to find an optimal configuration for an effect. Because the configurations can be adjusted as you play the audio, which helps to find an optimal configuration. I will check the target compression box to see how much compression is happening. I will get back to the default preset so that you understand what changes I am making. Please note that your learning of the previous limiter of Audacity is obsolete in this version. You have to think completely in a new way for this limiter. The two important things to configure in this limiter are the threshold and the makeup target. You can think the makeup target as the peak value. The desired peak level of the audio is minus 3 dB, and I would suggest using that as the makeup target. The threshold should be lower than the makeup target. We are trying to increase the overall loudness of the audio. If the threshold is lower than the makeup target, the overall loudness will increase. Currently, the difference between the threshold and the makeup target is 2 dB. The more the difference between these, the louder the audio will be. I will play in these settings to let you hear how it sounds. So, when the sponsors of these events would instruct us to put more wide on the table, I would always balk at the record. I will now adjust the threshold so the audio becomes louder or quieter than you just heard. If I take down the threshold, the audio will become louder. In theory, the limiter is another form of the compression effect. However, you do not specify the compression ratio in the limiter. Audacity figures out the appropriate ratio based on what you set in the threshold and makeup target. That's why the more the gap between the threshold and makeup gain, the louder the sound becomes. If the threshold is higher than the makeup target, the audio will become quieter. I will play the audio and adjust the slider, and you will notice the changes. Also, keep an eye on the playback meter to see how the changes are reflected. So, when the sponsors of these events would instruct us to put more wide on the table, I would always balk at the request. I knew the wide would quickly vanish. This is why, when visiting a winery and being allowed to taste their best wines, they pour wines into your glass, the glass you just paid $5 for, from a bottle discreetly hidden behind the wine bar. It was many years ago, after learning what I needed to know to take over the family importing and wholesale wine business in New York City, 
a firm my great-grandfather created in 1896, that I zeroed in on wine tastings as the perfect you notice the loudness changes as I adjust the threshold. When the threshold was higher than the makeup gain, the audio actually became quiet. From my experience, I see a threshold around minus 5 dB will work okay for this recording. I will set the threshold to minus 5.2. You will notice there is no apply button on this limiter effect. A real-time effect has no traditional apply button. If you want to apply the effect on the track, you have to do it from the mix menu. Click on mix and select mix and render. The real-time effect will be applied to the track. The limiter effect has been applied to this track, as there are no real-time effects on the left side. The limiter effect is now mixed into the track. I will check the ACX values now, and I expect the RMS to increase. Yes, the RMS increased, but the peak was just above the accepted value. There is an easy fix for the peak value. You have to normalize after applying a limiter, and the peak will be fixed. If the peak of the audio is not at the ideal value at any time, you can normalize it. I will normalize it to minus 3 dB. I will check the ACX values again. You can see the peak is now OK, and RMS has increased more than it was before the limiter. Before the limiter, the RMS was around minus 23, and now it is minus 21. You saw the use of a limiter from the real-time effects. I did that to show you how the limiter affects the loudness. Practically, you do not need to use it as a real-time effect. You can use it from the effect menu. I am back to the stage before applying the limiter. I will check the ACX values to confirm that. You can see the RMS is now minus 23.34 and I have not applied the limiter to this audio yet. I will apply a limiter effect to this audio so that the RMS increases without increasing the peak. To apply a limiter effect, select everything inside the audio and go to the limiter effect. You will find the limiter effect inside volume and compression. I will get back to the default preset to show the changes I am making. There are some other presets and you can play around to see what it does. We already know the desired value for the makeup target. It is minus 3 dB. The makeup target is basically where we want the peak value to be. The threshold can be something around minus 5 or minus 6. It depends on how much increase you are looking for. I applied minus 5 last time, let's see what happens with minus 6. I will keep the rest of the settings as it is. I will apply it. The limiter effect is now being applied. I will check the ACX values to see the current standings. Like before, the peak got out of range for just a bit. I will apply the normalize effect to fix the peak. You can see the RMS has now increased. In fact the RMS is now minus 20.43. When I applied a threshold of minus 5, the RMS was around minus 21. This means that the more the difference between the threshold and makeup gain in the limiter, the more the RMS will increase. Please keep in mind that the limiter also increases the noise floor. You have to be careful if the noise floor increases too much. The limiter effect is not something that you must use. If the standard processing does not give you loud enough audio, then use a limiter. If you want to use Audacity for professional work or serious work, I have a solution for you. The solution is Audacity Bundle. If you want to use Audacity for audiobook narration, professional voiceover, solo podcasts, or any other generic voiceover purposes, this Audacity Bundle is for you. Audacity Bundle is an all-in-one solution for learning Audacity well. If you take the Audacity Bundle, you will get access to a beginner's course and an advanced course. You will also get 11 pre-built Audacity macros to improve your voice in one click. In addition to that, you will also get one custom EQ and macro personalized for your voice recording. Customized macro can bring up the best of your voice recording as that will be personalized to your voice only. You will find all the necessary links in the description and pinned comments.